Hello, everybody. Welcome to our session of presenting an overview of our latest innovation called Scale Test. We have tons of features to show you as well as roadmap items. Before we begin, we are going to talk about forward-looking features in the presentation, so please make your purchase decisions accordingly. We would like to welcome you as well as thank you. Thank you for those of you who have been part of this product journey ever since we started our pilot two years ago. We have seen tons of feedback from you, and we are working with you day in and out to make this product even better. Quick introduction to our speakers today. I am Karishma Lalwani. I am the Senior Director of Product for Scalability Products. So if you've heard of Scale Test, Apex Guru Scale Center, that comes under the scalability products portfolio. Vaishnavi is the product manager for scale test that we are going to talk about today. And Carl is joining us from Oda Seva. He's the principal architect as well as a fellow CTA. So to give you some context on why we are here to talk about scale testing, why is scalability so important for your implementation? If you look at this graph, it basically shows you a day in a life of when you're ramping up your peak loads. And when you ramp up, as you go higher in your transaction volume, if you get throttled, you see there is a business downtime that's shown in the graph, which brings the systems down, impacts your user experience, and it's overall an availability issue, as well as bad end user experience for your customers. The, the line over there is what we are trying to avoid. We are trying to tell you that for you to avoid any downtime in production, scale testing is the way to go. Scale testing is important to make your implementation reliable, available, and scalable to your end users. And also more important, if you have large complex implementations as well as large data volumes. We look at scale test as an important milestone when you are preparing for your business peaks, be it quarterly peak seasons, be it a new implementation where you're bringing on more users or merging two orgs. All of these are critical business events where you should absolutely think about scale testing. Invest in the growth of your business not in fixing your implementation because of any downtime. What are the risks of not doing any kind of scale test? From our research and working with 100 plus pilot customers, we have seen that those customers who do not factor in scale test face a potential revenue loss when you hit that throttle at your peak season. You also spend hundreds of hours in developer productivity time to understand why your implementation or your org was throttled and how should you fix it in the future. And overall, it, used to, it, it leads to bad user experience because your end users are not able to access your system when you have downtime. 77% is the number that we've seen in reduction in downtime for customers who've actively adopted scale testing on the platform. So who are the personas involved? If you are a developer, you are concerned if your application code will scale or not. You are writing code to meet business requirements. You would like to understand if there are any bottlenecks at that high peak volume. If you are a tester or a performance engineer, it's your job to make sure that you're writing accurate test scripts, test plans, and ramp up plans to ensure that you are able to successfully conduct a scale test. With that, this is our first product that solves for this gap of you being able to scale test. It's available today on Hyperforce. We are coming up with this product for you to be able to test your implementation in a Hyperforce sandbox to make sure that you're ready for that business peak with most assurance possible. Scale test is an add-on to your full copy sandbox. So if you have a full copy sandbox, this is the feature that you can add on to it for you to access this today. 
With that, I would like to pass it over to Vaishnavi, who will run us through the product features as well as the demo. Thank you, Karishma. Hi, everyone. So when a customer purchases scale test, what are they really getting? Sorry about that. OK. So as we mentioned, scale test is an add-on to your full copy sandbox. Now, full copy sandbox is great today, right? It provides the largest test environment for us to test our end-to-end -end applications, do our functional testing. But what are its limitations that we're trying to solve? So full copy sandbox is still a much smaller environment when you compare it with your production org. So when you try to increase your scale, when you try to hit a high resource consumption, you might get throttled. So that means you can only test up to a limited throughput. So now with scale test as your add-on, we will temporarily upgrade or enhance your test environment by adding a lot of application, database, and a bunch of other services that will match to a production-like configuration. And we ask you as customers to select some scale test days on your instance calendar that we provide. By doing this, for those particular days, we will provide this temporary enhancement. So it will be like you are testing on a production-like instance. In addition to that, we provide some fantastic capabilities that will help you test more accurately, easier, and faster. So let's start with the test plan creation. Now, this can be found in your production org, where we will relay your production scale hotspots, and we will show you what are your most used pages, lightning components, and server-side metrics. So you can convert these insights into a valuable, easy-to-use test case report. Now, the next step is for you to go to your full copy sandbox, where you want to conduct your scale test. You can block your scale test days for the temporary enhancement. And as you're gearing up for your scale test, you can take a look at our test execution feature, where we have a comprehensive scale test uh, checklist. You can cover all your bases, all your important activities that need to be done. And you can also view how your key scalability indicators are uh, behaving as you start ramping up in your scale test. And we also have some nifty bonus features for you as a part of this product. First is Scale Center. Now, this gives you access to real-time observability and um, amazing, powerful insights to troubleshoot your errors and optimize your application. We also have Apex Guru, which is an AI ML-based scale insights that will provide anti-patterns and hotspots-related insights, along with the recommended code fix. All right, now let's see Scale Test in action. So you can find scale test under the scale menu, under the setup, under the scale leaf. And as the customer architect, you want to start your journey with the test planning. So you'd like to go into your production org, and you access plan, test plan creation here. You can take a look at our last four peaks that we pre-identify by scanning your production org. Or you can also input your known business peak to start running a test use case report. It takes you a couple of minutes, but you can access the results real quick. And when you click on View Results, we take you to the Identify Test Use Cases tab. This will give you a very good comprehensive understanding of how your front end side of things look like. That includes your most used or slowest pages, your most used lightning components, the load and execution times for these. And if you have an API heavy integration, you can also take a look at your most used REST and SOAP APIs. Now, the next step is for us to understand how are things under the hood of your implementation. So for that, we go to server-side traffic, and you can take a look at all the variety of data that we present and draw conclusions and add these to your test use case flow. So for example, we show you the trigger executions by the trigger type, count, and average execution time. So if some uh, trigger is taking too much time to execute, you can just add that into your test use case, add the relevant pages and the data for it, and you have your test use case ready. So the next step is you go into your full copy sandbox. You have your test scheduler here, which is very intuitive and easy to use. So all you have to do is click on New Booking, uh, pick the scale test days that you'd like to book, add the relevant test details, and hit Submit. You will be auto-confirmed for your booking, and we will also send reminders as your test day is approaching. You can see all your bookings right here. You can also cancel them up to two weeks in advance. As you're nearing your scale test day, we ask you to go into the test execution tab, where we have a comprehensive scale Salesforce checklist 
You can have a take a look at all of these, cover all your bases, and be ready for your Salesforce scale test. And on your scale test days, you can use your load generators to generate the load. And you can input a couple of time ranges whenever you might have run these scale tests and hit submit. And this feature is, very, is really amazing because it gives you a good understanding of how your key scalability indicators are changing as you start ramping up. For example, we have these response times. And if you're ramping up and the times are also growing, that means your implementation is not very scalable. Similarly, your errors ideally should be zero all the time. But if they're growing, that means you might have to take a pause there, optimize, fix your errors, and conduct your scale test again. Now, after your scale test, you want to go to Scale Center, Org Performance. And you select the time period for when you've run your scale test. And you can see various time series graphs here for that time period. So as you can see, you might observe some spikes that might be relevant for your scale test. So if you want to dig deeper and understand what went wrong and how you want to fix it, all you have to do is drag and drop across that particular peak. And you can start any of these analysis present here. So triggering these analysis, you will get an in-depth report with recommended fixes, optimization tips. And that's how you start your optimization journey. And now let's take a look at the brand new Apex Guru Insights under our Scale Insights tab. Now this gives uh, code recommendations, SOCL, DML analysis, expensive methods, and unused methods. So here we have the current code that the developer would have written, and also have the recommended code fixed for it. Similarly, we have the insights for SOCL and DMLs. We list down the expensive methods that you use, unused classes, and methods. Now going back to a deck, So although this product recently went GA in December, we have been running a successful pilot for more than two years. We've helped 100 plus largest Salesforce customers across 12 plus critical industries, ranging from retail, travel and hospitality, financial services, wax customers, and we've seen it all. We've seen all kinds of ways that the customer prepared for their upcoming peak events, uh, go lives, and how scale test really gave them a lot of confidence to also uh, uh, expand vertically and horizontally. So one amazing side benefit that we saw with scale test is every customer who's conducted scale test with us has gotten scale confidence that their uh, implementation will scale, and they started purchasing more products on Salesforce. So we have seen an average of at least $1 million AOV impact for every customer we work with. Now what's on the horizon? So we went GA in December for US customers, and now we're also expanding across other geographical regions for strategic customers. And in summer, we have some really cool features coming up called Trial Accuracy Checker. Now this feature will help you run sanity tests, quick 10 user, 20 user tests. That will help you realize how accurate your simulation is in comparison to your production peak traffic. And then we're also coming up with a request per second calculator. We want to standardize the way we see at Salesforce, we see scale at Salesforce. And we want to help you calculate what your scale today is. And we're also helping you build easy ramp plans that you can utilize while you're conducting scale tests. So in winter 25, we're aiming for our load generator pilot, where we will create a UI for test harness. This way, you will be able to run your entire load test directly on our product. You won't have to use your virtual machines anymore. And we're also going to target closer integration with Scale Center, where we're hoping to provide a live load analysis with alerting for all the key events that you might have during scale testing. All right, over to you, Carl. Thank you. Here you go. So let's take a few moments and talk about how you can put scale tests in action inside of your org. But first, a little bit of background. So I work at an ISV. We're building apps that get installed in our customers' orgs. One of those apps is called Backup for Business. The idea here is end users can see all changes to a records and recover quickly in one with one click. So as an ISV, the solution works great in our development environments. We're building things much like you in sandboxes and scratch orgs. We have some test environments. But guess what? They really don't mimic the volume of our customers' orgs. So if a customer comes to us and says, hey, I'm going to be putting 500,000 cases in my org a day, and I want to recover data at the same time, can your app handle it? Well, I don't necessarily have that confidence because I haven't tested at that scale yet. 
So that's what scale test does for us. It enables us to understand those potential bottlenecks before our customers and see how it actually performs at certain volumes. Therefore, we can provide SLAs to our customers and say, yes, we're confident in making this work. Now to do that, we're going to work on a test plan. And that test strategy, that test plan is pulled from well-architected, and it includes the how, the when, the where, and the why. And guess what? This is a shared responsibility. There's some things that Salesforce does for us, but there's some things as a customer that we're responsible for doing to make that scale test be successful. So first, the how. Well, the more, most important question to ask is, what are your goals? What are those success criteria? What does good look like in our scale test? And scale test, you're not going to apply it to everything in your org. You're going to look at the critical business functionality and those execution paths. We go in with assumptions as architects around what we think is going to perform, but as you saw in the demo, it may not be right. We can actually see those code paths that are executing frequently and the ones that are slow, which may differ from our assumptions. Next, we're going to prepare that test data in our test harness. Right now, that's a responsibility for us. As you saw in the roadmap, it's something that will be shared later, which is awesome. And then we're going to reserve that test slot and run our test. So when do we want to do this? You know, when's an appropriate time to scale test? Ideally, you're doing it early enough in your development lifecycle that you can fix when you find something that goes wrong. This isn't something that's done two days before you go live where you can't fix any issues that you find. The other time you want to think about doing it is when there's significant changes. That can be on a business perspective. You're ready to launch into a new market. You're going to acquire another company. Something's changing with the volumes. Or you decide to make technical changes. You may be moving from a request and response pattern to an event-driven architecture. That's a great time to scale test. And unfortunately, sometimes we miss something and we're doing it in response to a performance issue, right? We want to know what went wrong, how can we fix it so it doesn't occur again. The where, well, part of it's easy. You saw it's in your HyperForce full copy sandbox and you have the scale test add-on. But that last point's important. Don't forget, you're often integrating into other systems. One, you need to have a test system, and two, it needs to have production-like scale as well. So make sure that you have that complete setup for what's on Salesforce and what's outside for any integrations that are working. And then last but not least, why are we doing it? Well, I want to provide that confidence. I want to say, yep, we are confident in our app. We know we're not going to have scalability issues. These are the number of users. These are the number of transactions. This is what you can use the system with and expect it to behave. And it's very helpful to put those explicit performance characteristics out there, because if you just kind of assume it's good performance, my version may be different than yours, and that leads to conflict. And then last but not least, understanding those root causes so you can actually fix the problem and not just treat the symptoms. Well, we took a quick look at scale tests. You, know, you didn't get to maybe see everything that you wanted. So there's a QR code that has some additional resources. You can see additional demos. You can look at articles. There's details on Apex Guru. So a lot of good resources that you can take with you to really get started with scale tests. Last but not least, thank you very much. We appreciate your time today uh, learning about scale tests. And if you have any feedback, let us know. We want to hear. You know, do you want to hear more about scale tests or the things you liked, you didn't like? Feedback is a gift. Please give it to us. And if you're one of the first people tomorrow to redeem your code, you can get a coffee on us as well, too. So thank you very much, and have a great TDX.